Hi everyone, it's Luke here and welcome back to another video. Today you join me here at the HRO and Ferrari Service Centre here in London. Now I came here probably about six months ago uh, for a little open morning uh, to kind of showcase uh, the workshop and what they do here uh, and they put on another one and here I am today. But this one is slightly different to the last one. Uh, this one is actually themed modern classic. So as well as the kind of hypercars and uh, modern supercars such as the LaFerrari over my right shoulder, we've also got stuff like 550s, uh, Tesserosas, Super Americas, that kind of thing. So there's a quite a wide range of cars here. So I think what I'm going to do is, uh, seeing as it's absolutely throwing it down with rain outside, is kind of stay in here and uh, kind of show you what's here because I can assure you there is some really cool stuff. kick things off with something extremely special. This right here is the Ferrari SP12EC, commissioned specially for Eric Clapton, hence the EC of the name. Uh, SP stands for Special Project and 12 obviously means uh, that it's the 12th one. Now as you can probably tell by some aspects of the car, maybe even the shape, it's based off of the 458 Italian, but also has some special features uh, based off of the 512 BBI, which is Eric's favorite car. So basically what he's done here is made his dream car. And that's what I love about the Special Project uh, kind of section of Ferrari. You can basically build your dream car. Obviously it's only available for the elite customers, um, but basically this is completely one of a kind. There is not one car like this in the world. Coming towards the back, you can see similar parts which are heavily derived from the BBI, such as uh, kind of almost like this spoiler towards the back of the roof, you can see that there, and then the two air intakes here. But um, yeah, it's certainly a, an unusual looking thing. You can see the badge zooming in here. I mean, you can't deny it, it's really, really cool to see. And funnily enough, I haven't seen this exact car since the 2012 Goodwood Festival Speed, when I think this car debuted. So it's very cool to see that again. Uh, proper throwback for me. But yeah, very, very cool to see this, especially next to the car which uh, kind of inspired it. Now you cannot have a modern classic open day without one of these things. Arguably one of the most legendary Ferraris ever built, the F14. Now this one has had a bit of a bump by the looks of things. That's the trouble with low cars. Jeez, look at that. Ouch. Pretend we didn't see that. Um, either way, really, really cool to see one of these here. And I think there's actually three here. One here, one outside, and then one tucked away in the corner over there, which I'll get to shortly. But uh, oh, I'll never tire of seeing these things. So, so cool. Next to that, we have an awesomely specced LaFerrari. I think it's Argento Nurbo Ring. Don't quote me on it, but uh, I think it is. Then also, I don't know if you can see that inside, we've got a tan interior. Very, very cool spec. Absolutely covered in carbon, this thing as well. Got a full carbon front splitter, uh, the wing mirrors. I thought the roof was carbon, but it's not. And then round the back, we have the ridiculously priced full carbon rear end, rear splitter, rear bump, whatever you want to call it. But yeah, very, very cool spec indeed. Coming on down here, we have two Testarossas. This one, I believe, is one of the early ones because it's got the floating mirror. It's only got one mirror. Uh, this is the desirable one, I think. And then next to that, we have a slightly later car. Uh, not as desirable, but still very cool. Kind of interesting to see uh, the different generations of the Testarossa, actually. But yeah, that kind of shows my point earlier about the kind of variety of cars here. We've got 599 GTO, and then we've got Testarossas, LAFs, F40s, 360s, Calais, everything. We've got it all, and that's what I like about this one. It's kind of nice to really appreciate the whole range of Ferraris. Moving on down here, we have the other F40, which I was speaking about. This one's tucked away in the corner, which has the OZ wheels. Now these things, I think, look stunning. They remind me of kind of the F40 GTs and the LMs. They uh, had wheels similar to that. But this one has a very rare option, which is the plexiglass windows. Race inspired again, which I think only 50 of them have them fitted from the factory, I think. I don't know if it's the first 50 or just 50 in general but anyway yeah that's a very rare and desirable option inside as well we've got a actually it seems like it's kind of race prep because that doesn't seem factory to me and i don't think they came with alcantara steering wheels either way looks stunning immaculate condition as well doesn't really yeah picture very well on this camera because i've got the exposure too bright but um anyway yes yeah, stunning spec next to that we have a 599 gto <laughs> i just realized as well check out how big that thing looks compared to the f40 i don't know if you can really 
capture that on camera, but <laughs> size difference is mental. This one's finished in F1 2007. Awesome colour for one of these. We've also got a 488 Challenge tucked away in the corner. This one's fitted with the matte grey uh, top half section of the car as well. Uh, oh, we've also got a black badge. That's very nice. And then next to that we have, I think this is a 330 GT. Please don't quote me on it because it may be wrong. Uh, my knowledge on the older Ferraris isn't as good as the newer ones, but it looks really, really nice uh, in this kind of flat grey, almost like Nardo grey. I don't know if this is the uh, original colour or if it's been restored, uh, but it really suits the lines on the car uh, really nicely, actually. Really good looking car as well. Whilst on the subject of grey cars, we have this completely bespoke Speciale Aperta. I'm told that the colour is called Shark Grey, made specifically for the owner of this car. This is the only Speciale Aperta, and probably the only Ferrari finished in this colour, but it, the spec just works so well with the light grey and the gold accents here and there. It just looks so, so cool. Uh, at first I thought these were black stripes, but they're not. They're actually kind of a slightly darker grey. So obviously you've got the light grey and the dark grey, and then with the uh, gold pinstriping going through the centre as well. But this is a solid spec. Check out the interior too. We've got gold stitching, absolutely covered in carbon. Phenomenal spec. I love this. So, so cool. And then all lonely in the corner as well, we have a Rosso Fuoco F12 TDF without its wheels <laughs> as well. Now this I presume is coming for its annual service because obviously uh, it has a vital part missing, the wheels. <laughs> Actually really interesting to see kind of the lengths and the processes that go through the maintenance of these cars. Um, and it's kind of cool about these kind of days because you see kind of the process behind it, behind the scenes, you've got engines hanging around, you've got spare wheels everywhere. Look at that, a whole rack of just spare wheels that they use to test. There's a 488 front bumper up there. You see that? This is stuff you don't normally see. It's really, really cool. Now, if I was to ever spec an 812, then this is exactly how I would do it. I think it's TDF blue, I think. Either way, it looks absolutely stunning. We saw it getting washed uh, a little bit earlier on in the video, uh, but the silver wheels on the blue paint just work so well. Silver calipers as well, but there's only a few things that it would need till it's absolutely perfect. We need some carbon sensor caps and we need some carbon shields, but um, such a spec. Yeah, cream interior as well. I have completely fallen in love with this. So, so nice. And I think that's going to mark the end of today's video because, to be honest, there's only so much I can do and talk about just the cars sat here. Uh, but uh, yeah, it's been a great morning here at HRO and Ferrari. Once again, a huge thank you to them for letting me come along here. Uh, it's always cool to see what they've got inside. And to be fair, they have got some really, really cool stuff. Um, but anyway, yeah, that is it for this video. I hope you guys have enjoyed. If you have, please do make sure you leave a like and make sure you subscribe for all the adventures still to come.